84 countries and eight areas around the world are affected by landmines and explosive remnants of war. These devices contaminate more than 200,000 square kilometres of the world's landmass, threatening precious resources and devastating economies. They may remain undetected for decades, waiting to wound or kill long after conflicts have ended. Each month, up to 1,500 people are injured or killed by these devices. 95% of them are civilians. I was sent to Iraq in February 2003. I went with a team to what were, until a few days previously, the Iraqi front lines. I was the first person out of our vehicle. I stepped out of the vehicle and immediately I heard an explosion. I knew then that I'd been hit and injured. I looked down at my right foot. My right foot was ba very badly injured, very badly damaged. It took a few seconds for um, everybody to realise what was happening and it was our translator who shouted, mines, mines, we're in a minefield. Now while all this was going on, my cameraman, thinking that we were coming under mortar attack, had run away from the vehicle. He thought that the vehicle was coming under attack and he did what came naturally to him, which was to run, try and run for safety. But actually what he did was to run further into the minefield. And within, within a second or two of hearing one explosion, I heard two explosions in quick succession. Harvey had suffered massive internal injuries and had had died probably instantly. Five days after I stepped on that landmine, the surgeons amputated my right leg below the knee. Landmines and explosive remnants of war injure and kill indiscriminately. As an aid worker, you may find yourself working in close proximity to mined areas, or you may encounter unexploded or abandoned munitions. Being informed and taking basic precautions will help minimise the risk of getting injured by these devices. If you live or work in an area where landmines or explosive remnants of war are present, you need to educate yourself and take charge of your own safety. By doing so, you will greatly reduce the risk of injury to you and to those around you.